Hi, Teresa. Hey, Tony. Franklin, my man. Hey, Alex. Hey, Josiah. Hi, Margo. Hi, buddy. It's me, buddy. Hey, Tony. Hey, Chris. Hey, Rachel. Hey, Jay. Hello, Natalie. Hope you're doing well through these weird times and hopefully it's almost all over. I just wanted to say thank you for being a great buddy and I had a lot of fun with you this year. I'm so glad that I got to know you better this year. The beginning of the year was great and I'm so glad that we got to go on the retreat together. You've been an awesome buddy the last couple years and I'm really happy that we've gotten to know each other. Just wanted to let you know that I love you. You're the most selfless and caring person that I know. I love you, man. Hope you're doing great. This has been a great last year. I hope you had as much fun as I did. I really miss you and I hope we can hang out sometime over the summer. I'm so glad that you're staying in America this summer. I can't wait for next year. I'm really excited for your apartment with the pool. One of my favorite memories that I have of you is the one time you came over before the international bonfire. At the Christmas party when we were playing ping the pong. When you and I went through the maze of the pumpkin patch and you just saw the little kids and started screaming and just running. Remember that day that we took just for me and you in spring break this year? Where we went to that smoothie place and it was all healthy stuff. When we went ice skating, you're really good at ice skating and I'm obviously not, but regardless of that, we had a lot of fun. I was thinking about our past skiing and I was just remembering how fun it was. Driving around and screaming because of the scary house. Turns out it's not that scary. When you try to teach me how to ice skate, but all you did was ditch me in the middle of the ice. Last year at the Glow Dance, when it was our first really big bonding experience and we got to go and have coffee the next day. And I really feel like that was the first time I truly got to know you and kind of feel your sense of humor. We went to the field trip together and we went to the pumpkin patch. I love the international experience when we both got to when you got to teach me how to use chopsticks, which was really fun. I still can use them. Anytime we hang out, like, you make me die laughing. And, like, it's hilarious. You're such a blast to be around, and I'm living for it. We went to the nail salon, and we thought it was going to be a quick thing. And we ended up waiting there for three hours before they even got to us. And then we went home, and then we made pizza. I'd like to leave all the international students and their buddies with my personal favorite verse, um, John 14, 27. They have 41, 13, and it says, For I am the Lord your God, who takes a hold of your right hand and says to you, Do not fear, I will help you. Philippians 4, 13, I can do all things through him who strengthens me. First Peter 2, 15, which says, For this very reason, supplement your faith with virtue and your virtue with knowledge. Proverbs 17, 17, which says, a friend loves at all times, but a brother is born for times of adversity. Acts 20, 24, and one of my personal favorites, it's my go-to verse, and it's, But none of these things move me, nor do I count my life dear to myself, so that I may finish my race with joy in the ministry which I received from the Lord Jesus, to testify to the gospel of the grace of God. Psalms 3, 3, and it talks about God being a shield for us, and I feel like that's really important to remember, especially during this pandemic. Psalms 46, 1. God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in times of trouble. And I hope you can remember that, especially in college when times get tough. Thank you for being a great buddy, and I'm ready for next year. Bye. May God be with you. I love you. I'll see you soon. Bye. I want you to know that I'll always be your brother. I'm always here for you, man. I love you, dude. And bye. I hope you have a great summer. And I hope you're just staying safe and doing well. I really miss you. Thank you. Hope you're doing well. And I'm praying for you. I love you, Teresa. Hey, everyone. I just wanted to end this video with some words of encouragement from yours truly to our international students for next year, our American students for next year, and then some to my fellow graduates as well. For my American buddies, I just want to remind you all to keep getting to know your buddy because there's always more of a person that you can know. Just keep digging deeper, finding out more about them. Really, really try to be intentional. So hang out with them as much as you can, get to know them as much as you can, and just show them the American culture. For my international friends, I'm so happy that I got to know you all this year. And I really just want to encourage you guys to, if your American buddy is telling them, you about their culture, 
don't be afraid to go ahead and share with them some of your culture too. It's really good. It's a really great thing for you guys to like bond over that. So you guys can really bond over that. And then I just want to encourage you guys to open up to them. Like these buddies, they really want to get to know you. That is the whole reason they are in this international program. Open up to them because they want to be your friend and then they want to show you love and they want to show you America. My fellow graduates, honestly, for me, it's kind of sad that I'm leaving high school because I've been in SCA for a while, but at the same time, I cannot wait to see where God takes us in our class of 2020. I wanted to share with you guys a Bible verse. It's John 15, 7, and it says, If you remain in me and my words in you, ask whatever you wish and it will be done for you. So I just want to remind you guys, college, from what I've heard, I haven't experienced it yet, but I've heard that it's going to be very challenging at times. And so I want to remind you guys to just run back to God because he's always there for you. He says it multiple, multiple times throughout the Bible. And I just pray that you all stay rooted in your faith and rooted in everything that this international program and SCA in general has taught you. I'm so thankful for each and every one of you, and I will be praying for you all as you continue down the road that God takes you on.